Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and I've got two new products that I want to show to you from Trayvax. Uh, Trayvax, if you're not familiar with them, they're a USA-based company out in Washington State. They make really quality products, um, really well known for their, um, for their wallets, and I have used them over the years and really liked them. This is a new one. This is our newer one. This is the Armored Summit, which I'm not going to go into great detail about it, but if you've seen the Summit wallet, it's kind of a little bit more of an intense version because it's got this additional plate. So you put your cards in there and then this goes on top and then you basically crank this thing down. You can hold cash, you can put a little carabiner, you can put a lanyard on there, whatever you want. So um, cool thing, Armored Wallet, I've got links down below. Uh, I will let you know just straight up that if you use the links in the description section, you'll support Everyday Tactical Vids. We get a little cut of everybody who goes over there to um, to purchase products. So. Appreciate Trayvax supporting the uh, the channel, and I like what they do. Um, I'll tell you straight up that these guys are, like, they put a lot of time and effort into developing products, and, you know, just honestly, they're not for everybody because they are they have a specific kind of style and look, and, you know, they're not pumping out 15 different knives and 25 different types of wallet every year. They've got a very select number of products. That's just how they've kind of decided to do their business. Now, that being said, what I want to talk about to you, talk to you about today is this right here which this is the Trek. So this is what they call their skeletonized field knife. So S35VN for the steel, this really nice leather sheath. You can see that you can mount it both vertically by running things that way, your belt through that way, or horizontally, you can run a belt through it this way as well. It does fit your average you know, belt. Um, it's not gonna fit like a really fat riggers belt or something like that. Um, but again, that's not really, they're not kind of going for the tactical community as much as they're going for like the outdoor adventurer and the person who just likes to get out for day hikes and stuff like that. So beautifully made sheath. It is leather, has the Trayvax logo there. Let me open this up and I'll show you the blade. Got to be careful here not to run the blade along the, uh, the snap and cut it. So there's a look at your blade. Really cool, skeletonized. I want to show it to you without having any wrap on it as far as like paracord. I am going to do that in the near future, but this is what it looks like without any uh, wrap on it. Again, S35 VN for the steel. Got that cool kind of design here on the uh, blade. Let me do it up close for you. So here's an end to end. So a couple of details here. They've got a 40 degree tip right there. They say it's got a condensed belly. 3.5 inches for your blade. A little bit of jimping up on the top here. Let's check total end-to-end -end length here. Get out the tape measure. And from the tip all the way to the end, looking at just about eight inches. Yep, eight inches from end-to-end. -to -end. And your actual handle is about, about four and a quarter, I would say. All right, let's get the weight here. 2.59 ounces. So let's say 2.6 ounces, basically. Um, you know, when you see this knife, like it's interesting because I'm shooting this video today and a couple of days ago I was shooting a video about uh, SE knives and depending on which SE knife you like, like I'm a huge fan of the Hungless and the SE6 and that's just a total different category than this knife. This I think is for your average backpacker who's out in the woods. You got to do a little whittling, maybe cut open some uh, cut open some packages, slice some pepperoni and cheese, cut, cut some bagels, whatever it is. I mean, some simple tasks like that. If you're out there batoning through wood and stuff like that, this is definitely not the knife for you. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I like these guys. I like what they do as far as their products. Very intentional, very unique. Um, I'm not totally sure on the price point for this right now. So at the end of this video, I'll have some information because I'll contact them. All right, let's do a little in-studio testing here. So since I said this is a light use knife, you know, food prep and stuff out in the woods, or I guess at home as well, we'll cut a couple tomatoes here. It's usually a good test to see about sharpness. So that's nice and sharp there. Yep, that's definitely working nicely. I think I mentioned earlier that it came very sharp. It definitely, definitely, definitely did. Almost got myself there. So tomatoes, absolutely. A little cheese. You can definitely see making a little sandwich out in the woods or something. Now, since I'm not like completely cranking down on this thing, I'm not having to really push hard. You know, it's definitely doing the work very easily, like so. Um, we'll see. I've got some wood here. I'll do a little carving in a minute. We'll cut through some cordage as well. But as far as for these small light tasks, yep, makes quick work for food prep. Let's cut a little cordage here. That was easy. Let's double it over now. There's two. No problem.
I'll see if we can triple it over. I don't know if I have enough left. I'll do two, and then I got this loop on the end. There's three. Yep, no problem there. There's three right there. Yep. Took care of that nicely. So this is definitely a bit more, you know, with those, those push cuts, you want to lock in. It's obviously a small piece of wood, but if I was, you know, carving a little skewer or something, I can definitely do that quite easily with this knife. So there's a look at that. I will tell you, as you crank on it, because it's so thin, it's not filling out your hand. So your hand is gonna fatigue if your feather's sticking for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, but definitely does the work just fine, as you can see. And there's a little bit more work on the feather stick. What I can say is I originally planned on wrapping the blade uh, with paracord, but because of these support structures within the handle, it does make it a little bit clumsy to do so. Um, and actually, it would make it a little bit more comfortable, but I would need to, you know, quadruple the thickness of this to have it really fell out my hand. So I thought, let me just keep the weight low and uh, use it just like this without adding anything extra to it. So I dug around the Travex website a little bit. Everything is a five-star review other than one, which is a four-star review. There's only six total reviews at the time of this video. Uh, the four-star review noted that when you draw it out, you got to be careful to not cut the uh, strap that's going to uh, secure the knife into the sheath. The other thing is because of the design on the actual blade, somebody questioned how easy it would be to sharpen. I don't think it should be much of an issue, but that was at least somebody's concern or their thoughts. So um, yeah, I mean, here's the deal. The, the price for this is $169.99, and I'm certain as soon as some people hear that, they're gonna be like, that is way overpriced for S35EN. I could get a fill in the blank. I could get an SE Hungless for that. I could get an SE3 and a bunch of other things for that price which is absolutely true. This knife is designed for a definitely a certain type of person who wants something different, unique, from a smaller company. And um, yeah, there's just something, kind of that heirloom type quality that people are interested in, something that's gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna pass this on from generation to generation. That's what Travax is going for. Not just with their, this knife here, the Trek knife, but just in general. So I get it if people are like 169 99 it's too much. Um, but for the person who's looking for something super unique, uh, from a company that they really support, then this could be something that they may be interested in. I will note that on their website, they actually have a picture of somebody batoning through some wood. Now, obviously, because of the length of the blade, it's not like you're going to be, you know, splitting huge pieces of wood, but um, apparently they're confident that you can baton it. Uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, if they do the heat tree right, it's S35 yen, it should, uh, it should hold up. But, you know, you're batoning a piece of wood that's you know, whatever, three inches, three and a half inches long. It's not like it's going to be a massive piece of wood, but you can apparently, you know, use it for that. I generally wouldn't for a knife like this, but they, they have pictures of it on the website. As soon as I unboxed this knife, I thought to myself, this is for the lightweight backpacker, lightweight trekker who wants something really unique they can wear on their, uh, on their belt as a, uh, as a belt knife, but isn't planning on doing, you know, some super aggressive use with it out there in the woods, just want, say, uh, wants a knife that they can use for some some light cutting to maybe up to medium cutting tasks. Um, if you're carrying like a Victorinox in your pocket and you're like, well, I wish I had something more like a fixed blade, this is something in that category. And again, unique. Uh, this is the only knife, I think, at this point that Travax has made. So, so let me hear your thoughts on this knife. Uh, you saw it in use here in the studio. I haven't had a chance to take it out into the woods. You might hear my voice is a little bit scratchy. I've been under the weather, so I haven't been able to uh, spend too much time in the outdoors the last uh, handful of days, but um, I'll get out there eventually, and I'll, uh, I'll test this thing out a little bit more and report it on social media You know, as I use it in different ways. But let's hear your thoughts on this. If you own this knife, and also if you own other Travax gear, what do you think about it? What have you liked? What would you change? Let's get that discussion started in the comment section. All right, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.